Hi, good afternoon. This is Fox Triple Eight, and this is video number eight. So right now, so far, what we have is we finally can actually shoot the bullets. Something we're gonna do now is actually work and make the camera so it follows the ship before we start messing more with the bullets. So start out. Let's go ahead, and go in the scene view, click on your camera. I'm pressing F to frame it, and then I'm making sure that I reset the rotation. So you only shows the Y, and then now I'm gonna press E so it shows the rotation, and then move it down so like this, a little bit somewhere around. In my case, it's nine degrees on the X. If you're using a different version of Unity, then these numbers might be different for you. Just remember that. So in order for me to position right on top of my ship, I'm just gonna press Y, zoom out a bit. And press the W and then just go ahead and position it right on top of my ship. Now I can just move it down a bit. And then now we're gonna start making the script for this camera to actually follow the ship. Uh, you can actually parent it to the ship if you want to, but it'll follow straight up. And then again, uh, it's gonna be kind of different for networking purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on scripts right click create and I'm gonna actually create a folder for the camera so I'm gonna call it camera scripts and create C chart script I'm gonna call it look at player click on my camera and then drag the script on it if you're using an older version of Unity, you probably gonna when you open up one of the build up, you're probably gonna have to remember that you have to rename your class. I'm using 3.4.1. When you use 3.4, it will automatically rename the class for you. So I'm just set, making sure that I set up this, and then I'll explain as I go. So first thing we want is target. Uh, the way so you can be able to track him is by using his transform which means his position so if I click on him and I want his position I have to access transform so I'm gonna go ahead and click on public transform and then I'm gonna call player now I'm gonna make a private variable for my camera so private transform I'm gonna call it my transform and then here in the start I'm gonna say my transform equals transform which it just means myself okay and then inside the update we're gonna make sure to check if we have to target so I'm gonna say if uh, oops if player <laughs> or actually you know what I'm gonna call it target so I don't be confused. Copy and paste it. So if target, if we do have a target. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna make two more um, variables. So one is gonna be public float height height. <clears throat> I'm gonna call it minimum. Minimum height and then let's say I'm gonna make it equals a hundred and then public float max height equals 150 and then I'm gonna make a boolean variable private bool it, it just mean bool is just meaning true or false okay and then let's see I'm gonna call it zoom equals false and I'm gonna make one more float public float current height equals let's say a hundred let's say a hundred for now or just make it private so we don't mix it private okay great now 
what I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna make it so when you press shift, the left shift, the camera will zoom out so we can see farther away, which is gonna be the max height. And when we let go shift, it's gonna be the minimum height. Current height is just to be able to control these two variables. So current height is gonna equal max height if we want if we press shift or minimum height. And then we're gonna use zoom to make it true or false, whichever one is it. I'll be seeing you in the next video.